Are we witnessing an end of the US and China economic conflict, or just witnessing its beginnings? In today's video, we'll delve deep into its intricacies, what strategies are being employed, and which hidden moves have taken place behind the scenes that may shock and surprise you. So prepare yourself as we decode its secrets of this high-stakes rivalry. Janet Yellen of the US Treasury Secretary stressed the necessity of strengthening economic ties between her nation and China, while protecting both parties' individual interests in her speech at John Hopkins School of Advanced International Studies. As two of the world's most dominant economies, any divergence from fair competition would prove costly and dangerous, according to Yellen. Yellen also encouraged China and the U.S. to collaborate on issues of global debt that would mutually benefit both nations. U.S. federal debt has reached $31.7 trillion as of April 21st, representing 120% of GDP growth, and evidence that recent material wealth creation in America was achieved primarily through borrowing globally. Yellen's speech underlines the necessity of maintaining positive economic ties between China and the U.S. as two pivotal powers shaping global markets. Although their economies differ substantially, cooperation remains crucial to promote sustainable economic development and stability for both nations. As of April 21, 2023, the U.S. federal debt has reached an alarming level, $31.7 trillion or 120% of U.S. GDP, as calculated as of April 21st. This amount represents more money owed by the government than what the entire economic output consists of and could pose severe implications to long-term economic stability within our nation. High levels of debt have been blamed on various sources, including government spending, tax cuts, and rising healthcare costs. Furthermore, COVID-19 pandemic had an extreme impact on federal debt, as relief measures had to be provided to individuals and businesses impacted by it. Due to rising federal debt levels, Congress and the White House are increasingly at odds regarding raising or not raising the debt ceiling. While proposals to limit spending have been floated as a ways of cutting down without raising the debt ceiling, are unlikely to meet with support among Senate and Democratic representatives, only further aggravating rifts over American debt levels. If the U.S. defaults on its debt, it could no longer pay salaries to federal workers or Social Security benefits, leading to reduced salaries for federal workers or checks from Social Security. Furthermore, losing global confidence in the U.S. bonds as investments could threaten its reserve currency status and endangering an economy already highly indebted or overextended, like that of America, as one of its primary debtors, creating havoc for an already severely indebted economy like that of America as a world debtor nation, therefore addressing federal debt issues for long-term economic security of America's economy. Due to economic division in the U.S., tensions between the Congress and White House over debt ceiling is mounting. These issues concern legal restrictions placed upon which the U.S. can borrow to fund operations. Due to rising levels of federal debt, it has become a crucial one. Economic division in the U.S. refers to an ever-widening gap between rich and poor that has caused increasing political polarization with different factions of Congress, holding different viewpoints on how to best tackle the debt ceiling issues. House Republicans recently proposed legislation in the House to cut federal spending and cancel part of President Trump's policy agenda as a condition for raising the national debt ceiling. But this proposal likely won't gain acceptance among senators and most Democrats, further deepening U.S. debt division. Congress and the White House continue to argue over raising the debt ceiling, reflecting wider political and economic challenges in the U.S., with rising debt burdens being tackled head-on by rising interest payments and penalties, funding and inclusive solutions that offers long-term relief becomes ever more pressing. Addressing economic divisions in the U.S. will be integral in finding an answer for the debt ceiling issue. While opinions about how to best tackle it vary widely, cooperation and dialogue among different factions of Congress will play a crucial role in finding an acceptable path forward. Addressing debt ceiling matters ultimately will involve making hard choices with long-term economic security as a goal. House Republicans have put forward an initiative to reduce U.S. federal spending through raising the debt ceiling, with proposals including cutting federal spending and canceling parts of President Donald Trump's policy agenda as conditions for raising it. They see it as an attempt at dealing with growing national debt issues by cutting spending while decreasing borrowing needs in an attempt to address increasing levels. However, this proposal is unlikely to win approval by Senate Democrats, who hold majority, who emphasize the need for comprehensive solutions that address factors contributing to growing federal debt instead of simply cutting spending. Democrats have also voiced concerns with this proposal as an attempt to tie debt ceiling negotiations to unrelated policy issues that could further divide and gridlock the nation. According to them, 
Taking on debt requires taking an equitable and collaborative approach while considering all economic and political challenges at play within society as part of any solution. The proposal to reduce U.S. federal spending by raising the debt ceiling reflects both political and economic challenges within the U.S. as it struggles with rising debt levels. Finding sustainable and comprehensive solutions may require tough decisions as well as dedication towards long-term economic stability. Solving the debt ceiling issue will require a collaborative and bipartisan solution that considers all factors contributing to our federal debt burden, although opinions on how to best approach it may vary among Congress factions. Working together will be key to finding a path ahead. The U.S. Treasury cash reserve account has reached its lowest ever balance, signaling serious troubles in the economy. This account serves as a safety net for government payments and meeting financial obligations. With declining balances, it becomes clear how it could lead to cash flow issues within the government, causing major cash shortages within payment process or potential crisis in delivering services. The U.S. Treasury cash reserve account balance has declined due to several factors, such as increased government spending and tax cuts, as well as the impact from the COVID-19 pandemic, which puts strain on the U.S. economy, leading to reduced tax revenues and increasing government expenditure on pandemic relief measures. The U.S. cash reserve account's declining balance has raised alarms over its ability to meet financial obligations, such as salaries for federal workers and social security checks, along with global trust in U.S. government bonds as investments, potentially jeopardizing its status as the world's premier debtor nation and U.S. economy as one of the primary debtor nations. The decline in U.S. Treasury cash reserve accounts highlight the urgent need for government action on factors contributing to federal debt accumulation. Finding sustainable solutions requires collaboration among all political factions, as well as taking into account all economic and political challenges in play for our nation. Failure to address such matters could result in serious repercussions, both domestically and abroad. Market anxieties regarding an imminent U.S. debt default continue to mount, and investors have increased the sale of U.S. bonds as their exposure increases due to federal debt levels and political gridlock surrounding debt ceiling issues. As the deadline to raise the debt ceiling approaches, there is growing concern that the United States might default on its obligations, leading to a serious financial crisis. These fears have driven investors to accelerate the sale of U.S. bonds regarded as safe haven investments. The sales activity has caused prices of U.S. bonds to decline, as yields for three-month U.S. Treasury bill yields, most sensitive to debt ceiling debates, have hit an all-time high at 5.318%. Selling U.S. bonds by investors could have severe ramifications on the U.S. economy, including leading to a drop in its reserve currency status and jeopardizing America as the world's leading debtor nation. Furthermore, investor sales might erode trust in U.S. government bonds as investments, making borrowing money harder in the future for Washington, D.C. Concerns surrounding an imminent short-term debt default and bond sales underscore the urgent need for U.S. lawmakers to address factors contributing to growing federal debt levels. Achieving sustainable solutions requires working collaboratively across party lines with consideration given for long-term economic and political factors impacting on America. The United States' debt crisis is a pressing matter that has garnered international scrutiny in recent years. According to April 21, 2023 estimates, its federal debt has reached $31.7 trillion, equal to 120% of GDP. As this means the U.S. owes more money than it produces economically each year, it provides serious ramifications for long-term economic stability. Any decrease in reserve currency status for dollars could further impact upon stability for nations worldwide. For decades, the U.S. dollar was considered to be the premier global reserve currency. Most international trade and finance was conducted using dollars. But with America's growing debt crisis comes an acceleration in global de-dollarization, as countries like China and Russia reduce their holdings of U.S. government debt, exerting pressure on its status as a reserve currency. Global de-dollarization could have profound ramifications on the U.S. economy. Being the world's biggest debtor nation, borrowing money from other nations is crucial to its continued existence. Yet should other nations reduce their holdings of U.S. government debt, it may make borrowing even harder in the future. The U.S. government has attempted to address its debt crisis through various measures, such as rising the debt limit and cutting federal spending. But finding a permanent solution will require taking an interdisciplinary and bipartisan approach that takes into account all economic and political considerations of this situation. Sustainability of the U.S. debt-based economic model depends on a few key buyers around the globe. To borrow money, the U.S. government issues treasury bonds, notes, and bills, which investors purchase, including Chinese and Japanese investors. Yet as its federal debt has skyrocketed past 31.7 trillion USD, concerns grow regarding this model of borrowing. 
The U.S. is heavily reliant on borrowing money in order to finance its operations, such as government programs and military operations. But as debt levels climb further, questions emerge over its long-term viability, and continuation depends on major investors agreeing to continue purchasing U.S. government debt from major holders. China and Japan can make borrowing harder for the United States government in the future by decreasing their holdings of U.S. government debt, leading in higher interest rates that increase borrowing costs while making operations funding harder to access. Sustainability of the U.S. debt-based economic model is a grave concern, and solving it will require both collaboration and bipartisan collaboration to find sustainable solutions to its crisis. In particular, the U.S. government must address factors contributing to rising federal debt, such as government spending increases and tax cut measures, as well as reduce borrowing as much as possible. China has been steadily selling off U.S. government bonds over recent years, reaching their lowest level since 2010. China currently owns less than $1 trillion worth of U.S. government securities, marking an unusual acceleration of liquidation that has raised concerns regarding what repercussions this could have on their holdings and the status of U.S. dollar assets. U.S. government bonds are widely considered safe haven investments and held by investors around the globe. Yet any decline in investor trust for U.S. government debt by countries like China could diminish global confidence in such bonds as an asset class potentially making borrowing money from lenders harder for the U.S. government, leading to further erosion in reserve status for dollars globally. China's recent sale of U.S. government bonds could have serious ramifications, and the United States government needs to find solutions that address what are the underlying factors contributing to increased federal debt levels. Achieving sustainable solutions requires taking an inclusive, bipartisan approach while taking into consideration economic and political realities of each individual state or province. China's sale of U.S. government bonds may also have wider geopolitical ramifications. Specifically, it could accelerate global de-dollarization process that lead away from using U.S. currency as the dominant global currency, something with serious ramifications both for long-term economic stability and national sovereignty in both nations. China has recently increased its gold reserves significantly, adding approximately 120 tons from November 2022 to 2023 as part of their strategy to maintain credit worthiness and mitigate risks related to holding U.S. government debt. This move can be seen signaling China's desire to remain financially solvent. By safeguarding itself against risks related to U.S. debt holdings, gold is widely considered to be a safe haven asset, and central banks often turn to it to bolster their reserves and protect themselves against inflation and currency fluctuations. By increasing their gold reserves, China is signaling to global financial markets that they remain committed to keeping up their credit worthiness as they protect against potential risks associated with holding U.S. government debt. Congress members and Wall Street professionals from both parties have also proposed making debt payments to China via gold of equal value. This may be one way for America to continue borrowing from major debt holders such as China in the future. Repaying debt with gold highlights the significance of gold as an important reserve asset and its critical role in maintaining global financial stability. Furthermore, the potential solution highlights how urgently the United States must address factors contributing to federal debt accumulation in order to find solutions to their current debt crisis.